After building a really cool iris last week on the CNC, I've been looking at more designs to kind of make this smaller. And I was on Thingiverse and saw some 3D printed ones, which were kind of cool. But I don't have a 3D printer. So converting this to CNC was on my mind. And then poking around on YouTube, there's a gentleman, Stephen Hobley, who did just that. He went to Thingiverse, found some of the STL files, and designed a smaller one. So that's pretty cool, and I wanted to give that a try. So I went and downloaded these STL files from Thingiverse, spent a lot of time trying to figure out how it all worked, and then sort of built my own based on those in Inkscape. So these are channels, and it all fits together real tight, real compact. And we're going to see if this works. I don't know if this will work with the material I'm using and with that design. So as far as the wood goes, I'm using some scrap Luan. It's very thin, and we'll give this a try. We're in mock here. We've got the file after running through JS Cut for the toolpaths. And as far as the wood, here's my scrap piece of Luan. This was left over from a flooring project. Very thin stuff. So we need to set this up and see what we have. What I always do before cutting anything is to manually move the CNC around my cut and make sure that it clears the wood and we don't have any crashes off the side. So just kind of a dry run with the keys just to make sure that everything fits. I don't have any e-stops or any emergency limiters on here. So this way we can make sure that it's all on there and nothing crunches. There are the shapes. Need to cut these out and sand them up just a little bit. I like to try to make use of as much of the scrap as I can. And I think we're good here. As far as these channels go, I would have made those a little bit more shallow. They didn't go through, but they got real close. So from this side it looks good, but if you hold it up, you can see on one of them it got really thin. But I think this will work for the first first try at this. These are the sections after some quick sanding. So this is today's design. It's an interesting way to go about it. So that rides in the tracks there, these screws. Just another way to make an iris. Thanks very much for taking a look.